Yeah, this is a video just showing you the water rack I'm building, and so or the water harvesting rack I'm building. So we recently had the gutters installed on the house, and so that we could then collect, you know, all the rain off of the house, you know, and then in this case, you know, we may bypass it or allow it to go into the rain collection thing, because you know water's going to be quite important here in the desert. And so the rain's actually going to come all the way along the gutter system and down those spouts right there and then collecting into this rain rack and so I mean not showing are the barrels right now so this is just part one of the video and just want to give you a kind of like walk through of the water rack and so that if someone is interested in building something similar they can actually do it and that what you have is like for each of these slots it's kind of like a wine rack it's basically just a big wine rack that in here you're going to have the 55 gallon blue barrel stored horizontally and then you'll have another one up here in the center one connected and then you'll have another one up here connected and they'll all be connected in series and that in this other one you'll have the same thing but this one will be in parallel and so that you'll have independent rain barrel systems to pull from and so there's actually two downspouts that I'll eventually need to plumb and so yeah this is still working on the project, been working on it for some time and so I just thought I'd show you. So I have these 4x4 four four posts of non-treated wood. I choose not to use non-treated wood because I mean eventually this is going to be in the backyard and you can see one of the rain barrels right there but I mean if you were to have the treated wood leach out into the ground I mean eventually it would create this poisonous area and I mean if you're trying to eat your vegetables you don't want to have any treated wood so I then painted the wood so that to protect it from the elements and so I'll have to keep on that. So four by four pieces painted non-treated wood and I have two by fours going across as the cross member slots to hold the rack and I have these little hanging brackets you can kind of see it on that far side better the little hanging brackets to kind of hold it and so that it'll eventually have the you know the rain barrels being supported here here and here and also in the back and then eventually you're gonna have to put some kind of like little space filler in here you know a little triangular piece to hold them in place so yeah just wanted to show you the update been working on this for some time it's probably a 36 beer pack project you know it's quite intense I've seen other ones on the video or on the internet and yeah just as took some of their good ideas and then you know you can kind of see what I've done and so yeah like some of the things I decided to kind of go with like this I don't know what it's called but kind of like a tongue and groove so that the wood is actually supported both by these bolts you know that are removable and by the groove the tongue and groove kind of thing and so that you have kind of like multiple supports in that you can see on the back side you know just been bolted in place and so that you know if one of these 4x4 four four posts actually shows a lot of damage you know I could take it out replace it you know and you know in case five ten years down the road you know something like that needs to be done but yeah so perhaps you know you probably have just wanted to give you a good idea so that you can then take this idea and then modify it as your own and then hopefully once I start putting in the rain barrels you know, I'll show you that as it's coming along, the rain barrels and the plumbing. Alright, wanted to start off this water harvesting video and you can see that I've finally finished the plumbing. Wow, what a project and just to give you a little pan up and down and that, you know. It actually rained the last two days and I was only partially able to collect the rain because I wasn't finished with all the plumbing and as you can see I'm not even really truly finished because just kind of point over there, there's the overflow in that if it reaches a certain state over then the I need to actually come down and run it along the the ground and so I haven't cemented all the pieces in yet because I want to actually do some more testing with you know the rain and how it fills up so what you can see is actually you know oh I'm gonna have to climb the ladder just a sec okay yeah I'm gonna got my ladder now so I can climb up here but yeah real you know just simply rigged with some string and it's connected to the gutter system so that there's a four inch down to a two inch connector and then it comes down into this the two inch line to T then it goes into this into the barrel bung and then that this is actually a special fit I'm probably gonna have to caulk 
that right there so that it doesn't leak but at the moment you know it's just filling up and then I'll test it and then here's the overflow and so that I'll probably have it like go up and over and then come back down and stuff and then so looking at it again you can see that you know goes from the two inch into the one inch one and a half inch into the bung adapter that I had to special cut then you know, it goes out here and then actually the three quarters has a special three-quarter bung and so I use that and so I don't know if that's going to be a bad flow restriction later I think it goes three-quarters down, three-quarters down, three-quarters down all the way down to the bottom so it just stayed consistent with the three-quarters and then over here you can see the same thing I have the other gutter system so that the house drains from both directions you know going from this direction and then over from that direction into the into the gutter system so it'll fill up these barrels so have about 500 gallons and about full so yeah as you can see I also just cut it really close I mean I, the tolerances are incredibly tight that the barrels go all the way up to the the fascia board on the house and yeah just to get the 500 gallons and it was really close cut fit so yeah then again going down to the you know different size adapters and so yeah wasn't exactly perfectly level but I can probably adjust that later with more fine testing but yeah the far left will fill first and then the far right and then probably the middle section will fill and then can use them you know as needed so yeah, we'll give an update so the only ones that I've cemented right now are actually these guys the bottom fit the rest of it I'm gonna see how it works is it a size restriction does it fill up too fast I mean does this does this barrel fill up with the like the North American monsoon, the summer monsoon? Does it fill up and then the, this too small to restrict it? So I may eventually change that later, you know, increasing the size to one and a half inch or keep it at three quarter. We'll find out. So I have to put another video up. So yeah, it's actually nice to finally get this project done. It was definitely a 36 beer project. Man, it took me a long time and finally got it all got it all in there. So I have to give you updates on how it works.